Hello everybody and this is Dr. Joan. In this recording let's review myeloproliferative neoplasmas. Here are the objectives. Myeloproliferative neoplasma MPN are caused by genetic mutation in stem cells resulting in expansion and overproduction of erythrocytes, granulocytes, and platelets. Why those three types of cells? Can you tell from this figure we learned in the previous hematology course? Based on the WHO classification, four disorders are included in the group of myeloproliferative neoplasms, MPN. They are chronic myelogenous leukemia, CML, polycythemia vera, or PV, essential or primary thrombocythemia, or PT, and primary myelofibrosis, or PMF. Make sure to remember the full names and the abbreviations. CML, or chronic myelogenous leukemia, is expansion and overproduction of myeloid cell line with the preponderance of immature cells in the neutrophilic line. It is most commonly occur to middle-aged men. It is caused by a mutation called Philadelphia chromosome, which is formed by a reciprocal translocation between chromosome 9 and 22, as shown in the figure here. Such translocation create a chimeric gene, BCR, ABL. Normally, ABL codes for ABL protein that has tyrosine kinase activity that is very well regulated. Fusion with BCR, however, makes ABL lose the ability to shut off the tyrosine kinase activity. Such constitutive tyrosine kinase activity activates the cell signal transduction pathways that leads to continued proliferation, decreased differentiation, and apoptosis of the myeloid cells. The table on the right summarizes the morphological changes in CML. First, let's look at peripheral blood. Pay attention to the increased neutrophil, eosinophils, and basophils, and myelocytes. Platelets are also increased. Leukocyte alkaline phosphatase are decreased. Do you still remember what is LAP or leukocyte alkaline phosphatase? An enzyme found in the membrane of secondary granules of neutrophils. LAP score can be very useful at differentiating CML from other disorders as shown in a smaller table, especially leukemoid reaction. Let's see what CML looks like in peripheral blood and bone marrow. The figure on the top left shows you leukocytosis. The figure on the top right shows you segmented neutrophils and myelocytes. From the figure on the bottom left, you can see increased basophils. What about bone marrow? The increased or hypercellularity is due to granulopoiesis. Megakaryocytes could be increased. Pseudo Gaucher cells are often seen and they are very similar to Gaucher cells. The macrophages that look like tissue paper. The pink image on bottom right is from bone marrow showing hypercellularity with increased granulocytes and megakaryocytes. Hyperuricemia and urocosuria, that is uric acid in the urine, are due to increased cell turnover. So patients can develop a secondary gout and kidney disease. When patients WBC level increases very high, such as 300 
to tend the nice parlor for later, they can have vascular stasis and intravascular consumption of oxygen by the leukocytes. Without effective treatment, all CML can progress to acute myelogenous leukemia. Before reaching the acute phase, some patients go through the accelerated phase, which is diagnosed by 10 to 19 percent of blasts in circulation, or 20 percent of total blasts and promyelocytes. Once the blasts increase to 20 percent, they are transformed into acute leukemia. Then they will have severe anemia, leukopenia of all white cells except blasts, thrombocytopenia, and chromosome abnormalities. Blast crisis leukemia can be AML, acute myeloid leukemia, or ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Extramedullary growth of myelogenous cell can cause granulocytic sarcoma that grows at many sites or locations of the body. Imatinib methylate is the first-line treatment for CML now. It is a synthetic protein that can inhibit tyrosine kinase by binding the ATP binding site. The therapy can be monitored by using RT-PCR to measure BCR-ABL transcripts. Imatinib is a good drug, yet resistance has been developed via additional bcr ABL mutation, which double the tyrosine kinase activity. This can be overcome by increasing the dosage of imatinib. If the patient still don't respond, then very likely they have developed a point mutation of the ATP binding site that imatinib cannot bind to anymore. This is secondary resistance. Some patients, they don't respond to imatinib treatment from the very beginning. That is called primary resistance. That may be because they do not have BCR-ABL mutation. To be qualified for transplantation, the patient must be in the first year of diagnosis, younger than 50 years old, it is still in the chronic phase, and of course, there must be a histocompatible donor available.